Good evening, everybody. I'm going to post a video tonight regarding a um, pocket knife. Oh, here's my cat getting in the video. A pocket knife that I purchased. Oh, my God, this cat. Um, from a antique shop in Port Huron, Michigan. Now, don't let the box fool you. It's not a Colt. It's a case. And um, I'm kind of calling out... All the um, case pocket knife enthusiasts, because I'm really looking for some information on this knife. Um, I don't know much about it. This is the first case knife I've ever purchased. I do um, collect, you know, pocket knives. I collected uh, Colt pocket knives, the, the whole series that they had that came in these nice boxes. Um, I had the coal miner and the, the American flag one, um, the copper one. I, I mean, I just I had a ton of them. Um, but I actually ended up getting rid of them. But I went into this um, antique shop in uh, Port Huron, Michigan, and I ran across this knife. It is basically brand new. I don't know the year it was made, um, but I'm going to point out some specifics about it. Um, I did kind of Google a couple things on YouTube regarding the case um, emblem, uh, the color, and what years they made certain colors. Here's the cat again. And also um, the tang stamps. So I'm going to point all these things out. But again, I'm looking for some feedback on if anybody can help me determine, you know, when was this made? It could have been made in the 60s. It could have been made in the early 2000s. I'm really unsure. And I've, I've run across a couple different things that indicated the red case emblem was in the early 2000s. But I also ran across a couple things on the Tang stamps that said the case, you know, logo with the X stamps were out of the 60s. So without uh, much more discussion on it, I'm going to point out some things. I want to give you some stats about the knife, uh, which includes kind of the length, the width, and, and all that stuff. Uh, as you can see by this Colt box that I have it in, and this came in the Colt box, I'm not too sure if it was misplaced by the um, uh, the antique shop owner or if like whoever, because it was all on consignment, if the owner of these articles had brought it in, maybe they collected it from a family member or uh, somebody that had deceased or an estate or, or something like that, uh, and they just threw it in this box, but it certainly doesn't belong in it and it's not a cult. But um, I'm going to give you some dimensions. Um, you can see that the knife is in really, really good shape, but I'm going to put it up to a tape measure. So, um, right there, it looks to be about five and a half inches long. So this is not a puny Colt or case knife. This is, this is a jumbo. Now, as I was in the, the, the antique shop looking around, I started to Google, um, large case knives. And then I started to get these jumbo knives and they were going from anywhere from a couple hundred bucks up to 500 bucks, depending on where they were posted. Some of them were on eBay and it depended on the model, uh, and the type of construction. But as you can see, this is, um, um, a bone it's, it's blue dyed blue bone. Uh, it's actually real bone. And you can see it probably qualifies what I'm assuming is a jumbo knife. Now I'm going to give you some dimensions on the uh, width. So you can see right there, it's about an inch and a quarter uh, wide. And it's about five and a half inches um, in length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some more information uh, on this knife. If I can get this open with one hand. Um, let me... Let me put my phone down for a second. Okay. So, sorry about that, but um, I'm opening up the blades. And as you can see, um, it's not it's not used. Everything, I mean, I have a couple fingerprints on it, but th this knife was never used. And again, if you know anything about this emblem, what years they introduced this type of emblem and logo on the knife. Uh, that might help determine maybe the age. Um, I'm going to show you the Tang stamps on it. If I can get this opened up again with one hand. 
and you can see right there, let me turn this a little bit, case is that cursive C and kind of like that, that Z looking S and it's a double X and you can see right there that there's a double X, there's a small X and there's another small X further down the tang. Uh, you can't really see it. Let me see if I can kind of. Right there. See that? You can start to see the beginning of another X. So two X is right there. And if I close this other blade, you can see a third X. So there's a good shot. The case emblem, three X's. So anybody that might know what that means, I'd appreciate if you hit me up um, in my um, comments and let me know what model, what series you think this is, what year you think it may have been constructed. This thing has no sharpened marks. Okay, so this blade has never been used. It's deathly sharp, uh, but there's no... Um, you know, striations in the blade showing that it hit a stone or anything like that. Now, I am going to show you kind of the series um, on this other blade uh, that it is. So, if again, if you just bear with me one minute and let me put this phone down. Okay. So, if you can see that, it's 62... 65 SS US made, USA made, SS stainless steel, obviously for the blades. But can you tell me the 6265? What it you know, is this a jumbo trapper? What 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 model um knife do you think this is? And again, look at that bone handle. Very beautiful. Um, I'm actually really fortunate to have this knife. Um, I will tell you that I paid $21 for it. I think I got an absolute steal. Um, but anybody that would have an opinion of the value of this knife or the year made, do I have something that was built in the 2000s, 2010, 2011? You know, what year do you think this knife was made? Or do I have something that's out of the 60s? Um, so I'd appreciate any comments that somebody might have. Again, I'll give you another shot of that knife. Beautiful knife. Just these blades are just deathly sharp. I'll give you an idea of how long those blades are. Um, so putting it right up to the measuring tape. So look at that. That's a four inch blade. And that right there is a four inch blade. So four inch blade, four and a half or five and a half inch uh, knife overall length. Uh, hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think this knife is, where its origins are from. Obviously, it's USA made, um, but if you can read these um, Tang, um, you know, nomenclature and let me know what you think it is, I'd appreciate some feedback. Thank you. And like always, like my videos and subscribe and become a member of Bird Outdoors. Thank you.